So a lot of people are testing in saying, why don't you drop negative gearing? And for people who don't know what that is, basically that's for people that invest in housing, they're able to deduct any losses they make off their income tax. Why not get rid of that? Because it seems to only serve investors, not young people who are struggling to buy their own home. Yeah, look, negative gearing is a huge issue that's raised with me continually. Uh, the government uh, has at this t at this time saying we are not dealing we're not going to deal with negative gearing, but there are a range of issues that we will have to look at, and maybe uh, negative gearing will have to come into that mix in the future. But it's zoning, infrastructure costs, excessive regulation, outdated planning policies, and transaction taxes, as well as negative gearing. These all right, are all issues we'll have to have a look at. I'd like to hear from Maurice Payne on that, the senator from the Liberal Party, Maurice Payne. Would your, your party ever consider reducing or getting rid of negative gearing? We don't have that in contemplation at the moment, um, Tom, no. But I think that uh, some of the issues which uh, increase the, uh, the challenge for purchase for young people in particular um, are exacerbated by the lack of land that is released for construction. That does, um, it not only pushes up prices, but it increases the hand the, uh, the housing shortage. And whilst those land release policies are often dealt with through the state and t state governments and local governments, it doesn't stop the Commonwealth Government from assisting where that uh, that is a problem. And it's, Doug might say that 